Good evening, YouTube, and welcome back to my series on Silent Hill. I'm going to be continuing from the hospital, I believe. We are in the hospital, and I'm sorry I had to run in the last episode, but I was getting hungry. But no, I'm not hungry. It should be good for at least a good half an hour to an hour. So let's see here. All right, there's a video player. Uh, long before Silent Hill, Resident, Resident Evil 7. Yeah, Resident Evil 7. Used a VHS tape. There were VHS tapes in this game. Oh, hello. Nurse, nurse. Wasted the bullet. Okay, I'm vibrating, so I need some health. Should I use 8 or 16? Let's see how many bullets I have left. 92. Hey, the gun looks like it didn't reload itself that time. Alright, and there's a health, health drink to replace the health drink I just lost. So, came out of that not too bad. Steel plate is screwed to the wall. Hmm. Let's see if I have a screwdriver. Anything like that yet. I got a plate. It's the plate. Nope. Don't have it. So. It's some puzzle piece I haven't found yet. This is the end of the hallway. Yeah, and there's nothing here. Whoa, rusty. Rusty floors. Where the hell am I going now? Hmm. Okay, we got a whole nother hallway to search. Follow down. Oh. We got a battle coming up. Let's see. Oh, it's a nurse. A nurse. Whoa! She got some movement on her. Kick that thing. Alright. I've already been in here. Storage room. Alright. Right away, I found a storage room. Freaky music. Freaky music. Sound like I'm inside a big kettle drum. Ooh, it's just blood. It's a bag of blood. Mmm. Oh. It's worth searching around. I found some more bullets. Lock is jammed. Oh, that noise. <laughs> Ooh. Room 305 on the other side of this plank here. You gotta get the camera to pay rice. Nice. Whoa, she's coming towards me. Get over there. Pick her when she's down. Save the bullets. Uh, another door I can't use. <clears throat> uh, here it goes again. Rocking and rolling. Of course I'll take it. It's a puzzle item, isn't it? Hit. Yeah. like somebody's sawing. Am I going the right way? I think I'm walking the wrong way, yeah. Wrong way. Like, this looks familiar. Lock is jammed. 
Aha. Uh, hmm. But I remember, if I remember correctly, the elevators were not working correctly, or it, it let you off on floors you couldn't do anything yet. So I unlocked it for now. I know the third floor is now unlocked. Ooh, wall. We'll go to the stairs. Go down a floor. Right? It's two I haven't been to yet. Yeah, I haven't been to two yet. Nurse! She went down. Lock is jammed. Something to read here and a nurse coming down the hallway. She's way over there, though. I'm not going to worry too much about her. Let's see what this says. Grim Reaper's List. 35 Linda Findlay. 60 Trevor F. White, 18 Albert Lords, 45 Roberta T. Morgan, 38 Edward C. Briggs. Hmm. L T A R E F F. All right. So I know the can't go into the men's room, but what about the women's room? Got to be thorough. Yeesh. It's a lighter. No? Yes, yeah, a lighter. <laughs> Nurse's station. Ah, oh, here we go. Clouds flowing over a hill, sky on a sunny day, tangerines that are bitter, lucky four leaf clover. Violets in the garden, dandelions along a path, unavoidable sleeping time, liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. It's telling me the order to put them in. Four square indentations on the door. So I have to find four plaques, and I have... I have one, two, I have two. And some blood. And a flower rose. Mm. Mercy. Two oh two. Lock is jammed. Move on. Lock is jammed. Move on. Okay, she's getting a little close now. Little too close for comfort. She went down in three hits. Where is she? Point at her. Here, have this. Slate, nothing more than that. Hmm. Okay, so that's that floor. 
and I go through the main door. It's locked. Typical. So I need one more plaque, I think. Yeah, one more. Another nurse. Oh, it's a doctor this time. That was a doctor. All right. Let's see. Waiting room. Of course it's locked. Why would you be able to explore the waiting room? Check these two bathrooms. Lock is jammed. Lock is jammed. I can go through this door. Ah! A little close. A little close. A little close for comfort there. Damn it. Again. Man. They are out to get me here. Medicine room to the examination room. Locked. Sound is heard from beyond the door. Hmm. Oh, bullets. Nothing else. Nothing wrong with some bullets. Okay. Move along. Kitchen. all the bullets. Health drink. What's that? Nothing to find. There's the plant. There's the plate I was looking for. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> Playing this game with headphones on is a totally different experience. That is hideous. That sound effect, man. Uh oh, a staircase. Is this on the map? Okay. Uh, let's go down. Another staircase on the other side of the hospital. Ooh, spooky.
forgot they could move so fast. All right, did I? I got a scratch there, I think. No, I'm still in the green. And I've got all four plates, so let me see. Yeah, I went down. Oh, I'm in the basement. I'm in the basement. That's the stairs I came up. Generator. Generator is on. In the dark world and the light world, the generator is on. Lock is jammed. It's locked. That's strange. Still in the green. Ooh. That was a little nerve wracking. I don't care about the body, dang it. <laughs> Give me the health drink. There we go. That is it for the morgue. And we can take the elevator. To the first floor. Oh no, wait. We want to use the four plates. What happened? Okay, so I want to use the four plates. That's on the... Uh, ah, no. Wrong button combination. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't go through the nurse's center. All right. Video. Where's that door, though? Oh, that is, that is where the door is. So go up. Second floor. Yeah, gotta go up the stairs. Stairs on the other side of the hospital and running into junk on the way. Stairs. Second floor or first floor? Second floor. Go to the nurse's center. Got it. Got it. Nurse's center's right here. And that's where the door is. Got it. All right. Let's read the poem one more time. Clouds white. Sky blue. So white, blue, orange, green purple, yellow, black, red. Hmm. Green of Hearts and Mad Hatter. A turtle and a cat. Let's do it again here. Okay. It's blue. Blue goes here. Okay. One more time. 
Blue. Orange. Green. Go green. Yellow. Red. Green, yellow, red. Green. Yellow. One more. Red. And that solves it. Ba boom. Right away, a nurse. Oh, there's another one coming down the hallway. It's two of them. Run up. Oh, she's already dead. Boom. You ain't scaring me. No, sir. Get off me. Get off me. I'm out of bullets? Wow, I really chewed through all my bullets. Good thing I got a shotgun. Here comes that freaky music. Two doors. All right, the closest one is the operating room. Basement storeroom. Dissonant noise. It's like like a washing machine that's overloaded. <laughs> that's all it reminds me of. It sounds like a washing machine or a dryer that somebody's thrown a rock in. This is my boomstick! And the volume went up again. Disinfectant alcohol. music you could call it music it's like being inside of a washing machine ah, that's quiet that's good ah there we go first aid kit nice and calm no funny noises. There we go.
So now I'm in 206. What was that key I found? Basement storeroom? Alright, well, since I'm here at the elevator, I might as well just go down to the basement from here. That's using the old noodle. Basement. Okay. Where's that room now? The storeroom. Okay. Use the storeroom key. Not being attacked, so that's good. Some chemicals. Some bullets. People just leave handgun bullets laying around all over the place in Silent Hill. And shotgun shells. I think I'm going to keep the shotguns. This is much more effective. Oh, now this looks suspicious. What do you know? Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. Well, I have some stuff that might kill the vines. Isopropyl alcohol. Yep. And then we set it ablaze. Down we go. Get settled here. Oh, mercy. I grant you a peaceful death. Shotgun seems to be much more effective. Hmm. Okay. I don't have a map. More nurses. Hearing that sound coming from all around me, that's freaky. Virtual surround sound kicks in in a game that's supposed to be a stereo. I don't think this game had spatial positioning. What's this? Ah. Looks like someone's been here. Lessa? Examination room key. What else we got? A painting. 
You can't do anything with it. It's not an interactive. What, what's this over here? This is like a mental ward. Here's a videotape. Alright. I think that's everything here. What about this end of the hallway? A long tunnel. Oh no, this is the way back out. Okay. <clears throat> well, I want to go this way. That's what it is. Oh. Alright, it was worth a try. So it's back up to the hospital, and it's the examination room. Examination room. Conference room. Storage room. I didn't see an examination room anywhere. Okay, there it is, through the medicine room on the first floor. Okay, yeah. First floor medicine room, but first we gotta play the videotape. We gotta play the videotape, so let's get to... Third floor? Yeah, third floor. Alright, let's go to the third floor. Third floor. Let's start with the videotape. Was this room? Maybe not. Is it the one above or below? Uh, below. Here we go. Here we go. PR. Disturbing. Yeah. I think I'm doing okay for not needing to save. Alright, now we want to go down to the first floor. Medicine room, so I can take the elevator again.
first floor. Alright. Examination room. Drug room. Which is right here. Yes. Examination room key. Here we find... Someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. The village crazy lady. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Antique shop key. Nothing helpful. But where am I going here? Let's 
just a normal hospital again. Will it let me back into the hospital? I want to see how the devs lock me in. stairs in the storeroom. I can't use the stairs now. Aha! So they've efficiently locked me out. Doors that could once be opened are now closed. <laughs> Leaving the hospital. Outside. What is that? up here. No! He turned too far. <laughs> Alright. Let's just head to the antique shop. Man, that is unnerving. It's one thing when you're hearing it on a television when you're sitting on a couch. It's another to hear it on headphones. One shot, dog. I'm doing is rotating the damn thing and he keeps stopping. Please stop that noise. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Let's turn on the light. Search the room a little bit. None of this stuff is of any use. There's a trace. Somebody moved it. Yes. Of 
course I want to push it. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Sybil? Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world, it's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Hey, wait, I don't want to go through there yet. Uh, I was going to save. I'll save at the next, uh, next save point, I guess.
What's this? Some kind of altar. Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. I've got a lighter. I did. Why would he throw the lighter away? Sure. <laughs> I'll take an axe. has been warped away. Where am I? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff, black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? The 
maybe this is all just going on in my head. I could have had a car accident. Now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake, but the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. There we go. There's a save point. Good. I need that. I need to take a break from this recording. <clears throat> uh, okay to overwrite. Yes, it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good night, everybody.